Well, I'm sorry I went on that big, long rabbit trail. John Boehner, he's out, as you know. And what did he not do? He didn't lead. And, you know, I got I to gotta qualify that. When you retreat, it is still leadership. You're just leading people away from the front. You're leading people away from the critical battles. And that's what John Boehner made a career of doing. Getting people into a room, right? Got control of the house. And then what? Oh, hey, but run away. Run away, run away. Brave, brave Sir Robin. You know, run away. It's leadership. It's just leadership in the wrong direction. And it's leadership by default, leadership by fear. <clears throat> That's the kind of leadership that Obama's bringing. I think Obama knows exactly what he's doing when he interjects himself in Ferguson, Missouri. And then all hell breaks loose. And then he goes, he wrings his hand. No, he wanted it to break loose. They have an agenda. They're leading with what he's doing by not fighting ISIS. He knows he's not fighting them. Obama knows he's not fighting ISIS. And now these crazy reports are coming out that we, we tried to get thousands of people that we were going to train, the moderate Muslims, and it's down to under 50. It, no, no, the one report said nine graduated, one, one trainer and one graduate. And all those other weapons that we gave them, guess where they went? ISIS. They were whisked off. This is exactly what I said was going to happen when McCain had this lame brain idea. So, is you cannot trust these people. They are committed to Islam first, not second, first. And they're not going to kill each other because it's the one sin that lands them in hell. All right? It makes them an apostate. It makes a Muslim an apostate Muslim who's bound for hell if they murder another Muslim. And in war, if it's not a just war, then it's considered murder. Okay? And, and these foolish people at the Pentagon, following the lead of John McCain and others, didn't do their homework. How can you, how can you possibly not, how can you possibly think that you're going to fight them and not know what they believe and not know their ideology? Listen, by the way, tomorrow night and the next night, we've got a special for you. We're going to give you the first two episodes. We're going to show you the first two episodes. They're 90% done. First two episodes of What Will Muhammad Do? Lone Wolves, ISIS, ISIS and Islam Explained to the West. You're going to want to watch those. Don't miss them. And then pray for us, okay, and help us finish this project. All right, let's finish up just with a thought or two about Putin and Trump. Trump did a great job and he, as I mentioned before, he talked about, he's, he's, here's here's we're going to lower taxes, here's where we're going to bring taxes up. And yes, we're taking people out of the country. It's going to be humanely done, but they're leaving. And if they're doing well here, we'll get them out, and then we'll bring them back quickly. But they're leaving because they're illegal immigrants. We're going to build a wall. He's not backing down. That's leadership. And that's part of why people are gravitating toward him. He said, we're going to overturn Obamacare. And we're going to replace it. And everyone's going to be covered. And that, he was like, what, 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 what? And he said, well, it's going to be a hybrid. Or, and he didn't say, say the word hybrid. So it's going to involve the private sector. And he, he was short on details, but it, it, it's going to get people's attention. P believe me. Then let's quick go to Putin. Putin sending airplanes, advisors, hardware to, uh, to Syria. To not really to prop up Assad as much as to destroy ISIS because there are 2,000 Russian or former Soviet state satellites, um, warriors that have left Russia to fight with ISIS. And Putin says, look, they're going to come back and we don't want them coming back. We'd rather go deal with them there. So we're going to go and fight them and we're going to destroy them there. And then Assad needs to get it right with his people. All of that to say, Putin looked like a leader and, and made Obama just seem embarrassing. I gotta go.